Hi friends! Previously, most of the devices were controlled via signals transmitted through wires. Now, many functions become wireless. We use Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. But the electric current continues to flow to our devices through wires, which twist it on the floor and bothering us. Transmission of electricity without wires has been known since the late 19th century, thanks to the experience of the famous scientist and inventor Nikola Tesla. But this method hadn't received wide practical application because the energy losses increase rapidly with increasing distance. I'm tired of this chaos. I want to get rid of most of the wires and I decided to start with a phone wireless charging system. As an example, I'll redo a simple phone, Samsung. There are already phone charging systems, where you can just put the phone on stand, mat, etc. But there are some limitations. First, is that not all phones support the QI standard. Second, is that although there is a universal module for wireless charging, they overlap the USB port. If you need to use USB, it is necessary to disconnect the wireless module cable. Of course, it's not very convenient. We shall do a universal device without the mentioned drawbacks, and it can be applied to all phones. The device consists of two parts, a transmitter and the receiver. At first, I found a power pins, plus 5 volts and ground of USB connector and solder the wires to it. Here is not standard connector. There are a lot of contacts. On a standard micro USB, it's easier to find necessary contacts. Minus, I got directly from battery connector. Receiver unit will connect to these wires. It should be noted that this alteration does not affect the normal operation of the USB port. Fill that place with hot glue. The signal after the coil should straighten and stabilize to a level of 5 volts required for phone charging. You can use the pulse voltage stabilizers in SMD packages, but they are more difficult to solder and cannot always be found. So I decided to use a simple, though not the best option in terms of efficiency. But this option is practical and accessible to everyone. For 5 volt stabilizer, I use Liner Regulator Chip 7805 in a small housing, as a rectifier, preferably a Schottky diode. And we need a few ceramic capacitors from 0.1 to 1 microfarad. Those components can be found on unnecessary boards. This is current value which is needed for normal charge. Receiver coil must fit under the back cover inside the phone. Coil winding can be done in two ways. First is so-called laser, hot iron technology on a thin piece of flexible PCB. But if for some reason it is not possible, there is the second method. It's more time-consuming and dirty, but available to everyone. I mean this kind, manual winding coils. It is preferable to use the copper wire from 0.2 to 0.4 mm thick with varnished insulation and about 1 meter long. We need piece of thin flexible plastic or thick cellophane and fast drying glue. For example, super cement. First, do a couple of primary turns in the horizontal plane and glue them to a piece of plastic. After drying, do the following 4-5 turns and fix again. And so to the end, total about 30 turns. Then fill all with adhesive and after drying detach from the plastic. But if you can't separate, simply cut with scissors along the outer contour.
I set receiver unit, coil and stabilizer inside. Here's what we should have. The transmitter coil can also be done in two ways, but experience has shown that in this case, manual winding preferable. In the case of the printed circuit board, need to enhance thin lines by soldering additional wires. That process proved to be more time consuming than manual winding, with wire of the desired thickness. The transmitting unit consists of the generator and the transmitter coil. My generator unit based on timer 555 and N-channel field effect transistor ERF-Z44. You can use any FET with an operating voltage above 30 volts and current above 10 amperes. You also can assemble flip-flop on discrete elements and use two transistors instead of FET. The main thing is that the generator frequency is in the range of 40 to 80 kHz. In my case, it's about 70 kHz. For testing purpose, I attached the receiver coil to a resonant capacitor and 1 watt LED. Experience shows that the LED lights at a distance of 0 to 3 cm. At testing 5 watt to transmitter provided from laboratory power supply. Current consumption is 160 milliamperes. Now, first testing with phone. It's okay, only need to put in the box. In idle mode, the transmission part consumes 160 milliamperes. The charging mode can give up to 1 ampere, depending on how much was discharged the phone battery itself. Link to full device scheme is under video. Later, I plan to do such devices for other technique. Thanks for watching. With you was Akakasyan.